Okay, so I'm making a magnetic stirrer out of this box and this power supply and this fan because <clears throat> I need a I need to be able to stir the liquid inside for a couple of hours in order to mix my material with the um, with the binder. So what I'm going to do is I've taken these neodymium magnets that I got from Harbor Freight. They're like two bucks for a set of these rare earth magnets. Come in a little thing like this, two ninety nine maybe for a stack of ten. And I'm gonna take two of them and I've glued them on with some pretty good glue. This stuff here, Pro Bond. Um, just glued it right to the sticker in a pretty good balance. It was a little difficult to get them to match up, but I've got the rest of the stack that. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up really good in some plastic. And then those will, these are set to, uh, to be uh, north on the top, south on the top. So they'll, two, this will spin inside the, inside the jar with that spinning. So I've got a power supply that I put a jumper um, on the right spot so that it just turns on with the switch down here, um, which I won't turn on right now because I'm waiting for the glue to dry. And then I'm going to mount this mount this fan by these holes with these screws through the cardboard and give it a good test. And then when I, you know, when the cardboard starts to get a little too supple, then I'll just change it out and put and build an actual box and stuff. But the power supply um, is going to, the switch is going to be right here and I'll stuff the um, the rest of the cords inside inside here. Um, <clears throat> I want to use the power supply because it'll come in handy. It's like a, four, a 500 watt power supply. So I'll be able to use some of the outputs from it uh, to power other things later, like um, some like the tile um, that I made earlier didn't have enough uh, juice. I was just nine volts at 1.2 amps. It's not gonna make much of a change in temperature. It needs actual power. So now I have all the materials that I needed. Um, I've got a couple of different types of uh, the active material, a few different types of the binders, and I have um, this special binder that I bought um, after a lot of research. Um, I got a supplier direct to send, uh, from Dow Corning um, to send me a sample of that, which is going to be the hydrophobic. Um, it's a xylene-based hydrophobic resin that's um, going to be the binder for electrolysis and electro or excuse me electroplating and electrolyzing um, is it electrolyzing no electroforming sorry it's late <clears throat> um, so I have a friend that's doing electroforming and he needed something that was a little less expensive than the seventy dollars a milliliter for uh, uh, or actually excuse me seventy dollars a fluid ounce for the stuff that he was buying based in silver so um, I'm going to use my active ingredients and make a, a hydrophobic oil base um, for him to test out. So that's where I'm at right now, and thanks for watching.